the upper ranges, Graham Allner, the former forward at the ranges. But more famous as a manager these days, after you left the ranges? Well, they probably say I'd had a bit more success as a manager and uh, yeah, I did, enjoyed my time as a manager but did enjoy my time here at Stafford. Obviously as a manager, were you ever linked with a job at Stafford Rangers? No, never, never, never ever, that never, never came up. Um, it was always something in the back of my mind, given circumstances, that it, if that came up, it was always a club that I felt could go places and, and therefore, you know, would have interested me. But but the situation never arose. I mean, I was at Kidderminster 15 years, never had really a thought about leaving. I, I had one or two opportunities um, in, in the Football League, which I didn't take because of what I was doing at Kidderminster. So the, the situation never arose. Before signing for Stafford Rangers, were you aware of the history of the club? Oh! I, w I was because uh, I played for Alf Church in a cup tie against Stafford a, a year before, a couple of years before, and um, I, I couldn't believe it. We played here at Marston Road, and I think there was near on 3,000, which, like for us, was it, it, you suddenly realised what a big club Stafford was, and then you look into it a little bit, and you think, yeah, they've got a great history, and. Uh, recent history as it was at that time and, um, and and it is potentially one of a number of potentially big clubs it's in the lower reaches of non-league you know I think of the Worcester cities the Chelmsfords I know Stafford are a bit further down than that at the moment but they were all big non-league clubs and, and you can tell now the crowds Stafford are getting at the level that they're playing at it, it's still yeah. it's still there it's still a big club if they do well they'll get the people do you ever regret that your spell with Stafford Rangers didn't really sort of link in with some of the big successes they had? I always said um, I, I joined the year after they won the trophy and, uh, and left the year before they won it again. So uh, <laughs> I, I said I, I, I probably uh, I'd got to take some responsibility for that, I suppose. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I'd have loved to have been part of that. In fact. The um, the 78, 78 I think it 76. was, Sem no the 78, 79, final, then, 79 yes, yes, final, yes, yes, uh, when Alf Wood got yes, the two goals. Yeah. I did I did go to the game and I ended up going to the after match party at the hotel and, and all that so I was involved in a loose sort of way but um, no it would have been nice too but uh, hopefully I made up for that a bit as a manager later on. Watching the match today do you think they are a better side than in your era or not? Uh, if I'm being honest, I'd probably doubt that, but uh, sat among some of the players I've been sat amongst uh, today. And uh, uh, But having said that, <coughs> you can only do what you can do in your league and the, the, the top of the league. They're obviously a very good side uh, at this level. Hopefully they'll get promotion and um, then they keep the upward trend can continue and they the club can get back to where it should be, which is, for me, it is um, a conference, what yeah. I would call a yeah. conference club, um, and that's where it should be. Well, Graeme, thank you very much. No, very grateful. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers.